Hi, and welcome back to our channel. If you don't already know, we're Lacey and Jordan, and we're currently building out this 2008 Mercedes Sprinter. We've been sharing a few of our road trip videos, but we're back at it today, finishing up the last few projects in our van. The major project we're tackling is our custom solar panels. We're gonna show you how we did this, as well as a few other things. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Lacey. And Jordan. And this is our van. It's currently filled with uh, some extra bits of wood, because today we're headed out to our friend's fabricating shop. Jordan Scott. Of Brap Welding. Um, he's gonna be welding us um, some big modifications. We're adding our solar panels, we're adding our awning and then potentially adding our um, side rail for a paddle board. For my paddle board. Um, so while he's doing that, we're going to be working on some of the last minute touches, adding the trim um, and a few other things. So we'll take you guys along and show you the process. Showing you process. <laughs> So we got here a little bit early, so we thought we would make use of our time. One of the big projects that we want to finish up is our back doors today. So we're going to be framing in these areas with some nice stained wood, just to give it a more kind of finished look. Hey, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan is in a very specific mood today. I feel like there will be much teasing going on today. So this is the wood that we got um, to finish up the back doors. This is the same size as um, our ceiling. Um, it's just pine board, super lightweight, it's pretty affordable. Um, and we just stained it up so that it was all ready to go. So we're gonna measure that up and then we're gonna start installing. Just measuring to see where the solar panels are going to sit. We're going to make our rack. Okay, well Jordan, AK is outside welding our solar mount. We're gonna be in here now that we've finished the back doors, adding the trim to our partition wall. So this partition we made a couple days ago separates the garage from the living space. This is a little pull-out step to get on and off of the bed and storage for our pots and pans. So we're using this PVC trimming material, the same as we used in here and it's gonna trim out this area really nicely. The joys of working in a van <laughs> and tiny spaces. I'm holding this while the glue dries. <laughs> Jordan's measuring. Hi, 
Not tiny job, but tedious tiny little stuff. Takes a smooth hand. on a treat run. Hey, Jord. <laughs> Show me all your treats. <laughs> all right. <laughs> cool. Handful of treats and still opens my door. <laughs> In it to win it. In it to win it. Yeah, this is Jordan's truck. Not mine, the other Jordan. The Bratmobile. <laughs> An older one would suit us better. On in. One of the nice parts about our van is that everything is welded right to the frame. So we never have to worry about anything jiggling loose or coming free when we're going down the dirt roads. Here's the awning in all its glory. Extend it out, it looks perfect for the size of our van. Choosing to do a solar panel that is adjustable gives us so much more ability to absorb the sunlight depending on where it's rising and falling. All right, so now we have the van home from Jordan's shop and we have it all wired up. Yeah, we've got the solar, uh, we got 280 panels, as I'm sure you know. And uh, yeah, how we wired them together was actually, I mean, it's a good thing we have Uncle Jamie here, but <laughs> it's, it's definitely doable. So what I had to do first of all is link the two panels. Uh, then I had to bring the cables down through the roof. So what I did was I drilled a hole, smothered the hole in Cicaplex, or first fed the cable through and then covered it up in this uh, caulking style stuff called Cicaplex. All weather, flexible, really good. So that comes through the roof up there and then it runs along behind our cabinetry and walls back to about here and drops straight down and I'll show you the inside. We're really grateful that we have Jamie to help us with all the electrical. We couldn't have done it without him. We watched many YouTube videos and I'm sure we could have figured it out, but it's nice to not have to stress. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he's an electrician. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so if you look here, I'll show you. 
So the cables come down and then they come out right here and they come in to our first major fuse box here. Oh my God, it looks so good having it all. <laughs> yeah. And they run all through here and then up into our solar charge controller which is always full. Yeah, since we've had it, it's been cloudy like most of the time. It's with, been rainy quite a few days. Yeah, and then with like a little bit of sun here and there. And so far we haven't been able to get it off of full. So that's pretty great. We aren't living in it. So, I mean, we're not using it all the time, but we have our fridge running all, like all the time, our Dometic. And so far we haven't drained any of the battery. <laughs> the nice thing is Jamie was awesome and he labeled all the fuses for me. So everything is on separate fuses, including the batteries themselves and the uh, inverter so that if anything goes awry, easy to control. Which is amazing. Yeah. I'm really grateful for that. So it goes from that. all in here, all of our fuse boxes, there's more fuses over here too, to the solar charge controller, which has multiple different uh, different settings and all that fun stuff and it shows us everything that we need it's basically then, the heart of our solar it's the brains yeah the yeah, brain of yeah, our yeah. solar and then this is uh our inverter we got a nice heavy duty one to give us all the power we would need and then uh some fuses coming off the battery to the inverter which is definitely nice and in here We've got two Discover dry cell batteries. They're six volt actually, and uh, they're awesome. Like I said, like we have not been able to drain them at all. And we've been, we went to Port Renfrew a while ago and it was literally like monsooning <laughs> dark, gnarly for two days. And we had lights on the entire time because it was so dark and gloomy there. Fridge running, didn't even put a dent on it at all. And uh, yeah, I've got a little cable that runs from the inverter out into there so I can turn that on and off separately from inside the cab. And uh, basically all that runs off the inverter because these batteries and the way that Jamie wired it is so awesome. The only thing that we run off of them are the actual sockets in there. That's all we need it for. The fridge and everything is all hardwired in. All of the lights and all that stuff. They're all good. So that is a little look at our solar. That's a quick broken down look at our solar system and what it does. So that's a look at our solar system. It's basically as much information as we can give you. Jamie doesn't love to be on the vlog, so he didn't want us to film when he was wiring it all in, but that's kind of a look at what we've got going on. Um, it's a stripped down, simplified version. Yeah, exactly. And then our next video, I guess, will probably be we're almost done everything at this point i think we worked really hard and we're doing the plumbing so i'll probably put like a little video together of all the plumbing and then another breakdown video yeah another little breakdown video of just the plumbing and stuff and then after that we'll probably just do our like i don't know last little reveal of the van before we hit the road to go up to the northern bc we're gonna make our way up to the yukon We'll do uh, one probably short video too of like the roof that we have. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll probably do a little video about like- We've been working hard on the roof and there's some tricks and surprises coming up pretty quick. Yeah. Here, thanks we'll do... to our friend Jordan Scott at Brap Fabrication. Yeah, so we'll probably do two more little build videos and then a grand reveal video. So we'll see you guys next time. And then time. many more videos. Yeah, and then it'll just be road trip videos from then on. Using the heck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take a little break from building after this. Jordan said he wants at least one month off and no more projects. So <laughs> I'm not going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Hi. Oh my god, you guys! <laughs> my tape was sticky! <laughs> Today we are headed out to our friend's fabricating shop. <laughs> You're home, I'm gonna go.